So this is OBS. We have our contenders profile hooked up here. Hello, Metal Magic TV. What is brutal? You know what's brutal? Is this tool. It's super, super legit. So what I'm gonna do, I'm sorry this tool is actually really small. Can I go ahead and window and window capture that tool? <clears throat> We're doing it live, boys and girls. Cool. Look at that. I can just capture this tool just like that. Sometimes the display capture, sometimes it just doesn't work. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to show you guys tool on the left side. Boom. Lemon says, so you can integrate that tool into OBS. Well, let me show you exactly how it works. So we have our, where it's really going to make a difference is we have, say, our map pool four. I'm going to go ahead and transition that guy. And what this is, what is done here, this is the entirety of the, uh, um, what we use in order to change the dynamic elements. Yeah, this is, this is, this is basically why it takes so much time between the sets between having to crop the images for the, the trio cam analyst and the dual cam analyst is that we also have this tool. And so what is actually happening is these, this is a just graphical user interface that pimp in the crib built. And you can put your team one here, your team two here, and just like fill out all this information. You have your raw, you have your player spots, you have your roster, you have your preferred heroes, you have your roles, you have the scores. And based on the scores here, it'll actually automatically determine once you hit completed, I'll actually show you guys here. I'm going to hit update because some of this info is going to change. We're going to lose some stuff. Cool. All right. So what has happened here is from the top to bottom, imagine says production, com production has come a long way since I having to manually edit Photoshop files to update graphics, dude. Yeah, this, this tool has single-handedly improved our broadcast quality by over 9,000. Um, do not envy what has been had was had to do in the past. I followed so I could shit post. Thanks, John. Um, <laughs> Bacon says, uh, welcome. This is an awesome tool. Wow. Thank you. Thank you again. So, uh, I will throw the link in chat. If you, actually, you guys can navigate. Actually, let me just find it for you. If you just go to broadcast.gg, you will find a website that doesn't look terrible anymore, which is kind of cool. And if you click on producing, we have our broadcast package way at the top. So I'm just go ahead and post that. Say I need to log in here. That's hilarious. Okay, this is kind of annoying. Um, real quick, one, one second. Let me let me get this. Oh, thank you, thank you, Uni, posting that. But in that URL, you will find how to download this stuff. Okay, cool. So let's get back to it. So we have our team one, team two, and um, we put a win loss there. But look, well, let's just look at the map score screen. This, of course, is controlled by this score, which can count up and down. Then looking for org. This again, this is Contender South America that we have set up. Yeah, every, everyone for Broadcast GG who produces uses this tool. This is how we can do our, our fancy things. So now we have, and we can load in our logos here too. So these are our logos for contenders, South America and China. So I'm going to go ahead and find breakdown and I'm going to go for find looking for org, formerly known as Encore. I'm going to update that and boom, see this update. We'll have the logos in there. Sometimes against the background, it doesn't look the best. Hey, that website looks like an actual website now. Thanks, Imagine. I know, right? Ugh. Ugh. Don't get me started. That, that was, like, on my to-do list to finish last September. Um, but we finished it, like, a month ago. So, anyways, what, ha what happens here is that once we... Okay, cool. So, let's just talk about the map scores and whatnot. So, I can change these guys, and these can just go away. I update it. Shadowy missed up. What up? Welcome to the stream. You can manually add adjust the logos in OBS if it looks messed up. Um, we could, but these are all, all the logos are, they're bound within a bounding box. I'll show you. So they're, they're set to format, let's see, properties. Wait. I think it's transform, edit transform, yeah. You'll see stretch to bounds. So what it'll do is, actually I don't know if that's the best. I'd probably do scale to inner bounds, but this is how we have our package set up right now. So it's like, it'll fit within this box here. Tool is blocking what I'm doing. Oh, thank you.
Thank you very much. Thanks, Metal Magic TV. So, okay, let me go back to it. I need to be paying attention to how it's displaying. This is so janky, by the way, the stream. But it's all right. This is how we do it. Um, so I've edited the transform, and see what will happen is that it'll stretch to the inner bounds. And so it won't distort it. I think it would, I think scaling, let's, let's find out. Scale to inner bounds. I think it just doesn't distort the image, which is good. Stretch probably would normally distort it. So uh, all the logos would just fit within there. Okay, cool. Let's skip the tool back. Left side, so you guys can see the preview. Um, okay, let's get the tool back. My screen. So I can add in the logos. And then when I check completed, what actually happens is it will, the, the, the tool will be like, okay, who has the largest score? Break down here as the largest score. So therefore, why didn't this not transition? <clears throat> yeah, we have Rialto now, which is good. Um, so it's like, okay, Breakdown has the, large, the larger score versus looking for org in this particular map of Li Jong Tower, and it's completed. So therefore, it will say Breakdown Gaming has won. But if I say, say it was oh, a long while ago and we had the best of five, then this would be so sad. Do you guys remember these? Li Jung Tower going to five maps, five stages. Pitch Farm remembers. If I unclick completed, it will just show the score. Current here determines, so we have two different images, image styles for each of these maps. One is a desaturated one and one is with the full color. So this is the active scene right now. So say we're between maps and uh, we don't want to show what's on the map score screen. It could be like, oh, it's for one and one going into Li Jung Tower, heading to Night Market to decide it all. And then you transitioned into the game. And when you come back from the game, ideally you would have this set up. Boom. So now it's going to remain having that color until I move current to a different cell. So say we already know that it's going to be, well, let's see, control. What is our, uh, what is the order for contenders? And if I update that, then we have a, what, what you will see here is we have in fact um, the map score screen. This has just a couple of different maps of what are hybrid maps, right? And again, it has the colors to show that it's active. Ideally, there would be no scores here. So we're gonna just get rid of all of those guys for now. Whoa, hybrid eight scores. Um, yeah, so this is what's happening under the hood, folks. And so we go to hybrid and then we're like, okay, so for hybrid, of course, we're going to King's Row because everyone loves King's Row. And you update that, boom, you get this nice slice. You get Mandata at the zero, zero. You get the King's Row. And then when you're done finally with that, let's say they take it there. Then you're like, all right, we're done with King's Row. Looking for org. They will take it two to one. And then we are moving on to Assault. Bacon says, holy moly, this is awesome. I'm going to send this over to Belong Arena Clash stream producer. See if you can use it for streams to raise the love of the stream. Yeah, 100%. Fricks, also welcome. Welcome to the stream. Yes, please go ahead and use this tool. Um, again, I know this whole project is that esports is hard and it's costly in terms of time and energy and money and I want to make sure people have the best production quality they can. I was going to go to bed, but please, I'm not now. Um... I'm sorry. I can be more boring. I thought that I was already boring. So yeah, anyways. So this is how the tool works, which is really freaking cool. Well, let's go ahead and show some other cool stuff about this. Um, let's go ahead and show the teams. So we have our rosters. Ah, oh, look at this. It's so slick. Got our moving background in the back, of course. Oh, Bacon, sorry. Um, yeah, feel free to un uh, unban. Please, thanks. Thanks for Morai and Uni for being in the chat and modding stuff. Wait, is Lemon? Yeah, Lemon's is mod too. So what we've done here is we actually have the team names. Your your screen actually. Oh, I'm gonna I'm gonna ch I'm gonna change this up here. Let me see if I can capture OBS just as its own window. See, this is why I did Streamlabs OBS. And please let me know if this, there's any stream issues too. I supposedly have not dropped frames. But you never know. But you never know. All right, this is the jankiest. 
the jankiest ever. But it's what I got. I'm, I'm adjusting off uh, screen here. There we go. So that should be a little bit better. Mukai Kuba, hello. No, no, I'm pleased. I didn't go to bed or I would have seen this. Please, I didn't go to bed or would, wouldn't have seen this. Hello, Sergio Kill. Lemon says, so if you were to change the design of the overlays, would this be a huge pain to recode or whatever stuff you go in the right spot? Yes, it is a bit of a pain. Um, but what's kind of cool is that there are some cool people that are like, you know what? I enjoy creating, like taking the assets and putting the tool on because you can export this entire thing. So I'm going to hide the tool for now. And what you can see is in all of these scenes, all of this, as long as the directory, so we have this whole zipped file that we send to our producers that you can actually download from the link above, broadcast.gg slash um, uh, production broadcast dash package. Real Grok says, nerds! Yeah, that's right. Get with it. Hello, or Nell. Um, so, oh wait, my bad. This tool, this OBS is not fitting. There we go. We can see the edge now. Um, so we have all of this. This will just unpack very nicely to have to these different scenes. Right. This one here is kind of cool. Um, again, you need to build the assets for this. But once we transition into the live, we can have a two-minute counter. We can have a 10-minute counter. Oh, God. Okay. Don't look. Yeah. So we have to move those to make sure that those are good. But let's get back to it. Answer your question. Yes, it is a bit of a... It is a bit of a uh, pain to do that and let me let me show you all the dynamic elements so we have on danny ow <laughs> what are you saying danny don't be toxic so these are all the dynamic elements even that guy too don't be toxic danny come on we have our logo here we have our team name here we have this the roster the score here we have our mutual information here that goes that is from this spot right here, mutual info. Oh, you guys can't see my cursor now. Fine. Was it being toxic? Oh, this shit's complicated. <laughs> Much respect, thank you. So um, then we have each of these logos here, which again, that depends on the, you know, let me do this here so you guys can see both sides. I'm gonna put back on the tool. I make that tool smaller to the side. Again, all janky. Bring back some music to make. Um. So yeah, all the assets can be modified. And so let's say I want to change. Lubuck just had a crazy game on Genji. So I'm gonna go ahead and update that. Boom. Lubuck is in. And say Dago Sim. I don't know. Uh. Delavine is suddenly traded, and they're running a triple DPS comp. They have Tracer. Just like that. That's insane. Needless to say, I'm super excited for this. Yeah, folks. Come on. We need more producers. Unfortunately, you need the upload speed and, like, a solid CPU and GPU. Morris says, producing is the best part of production. Change my mind. I agree. That's what I'm talking about. Totally didn't plant Morai here to, to say that. All right, so this is the team score screen. What else do we got here that I want to show you guys? Um, let's just show this here. Normally we would have cropped and put in. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna capture my cursor. Let's, it should be capturing my cursor, but it's not. Maybe if I turn that on. Oh, the scene has to be active. Then it captures my cursor. Okay, cool. So these right here. Has like, you know, Boop, Boopsaurus, Ham, Ham, Tornado. So we have two different slots for socials and one for not. So that's actually here. Um, where we have like our message. We put the Twitters up top. Host, Caster, Caster 2, Analyst 1, Analyst 2. So we can change this pretty quickly. Counterpoint, sitting with the other analysts and hosts in the side channel, watching the action and being sassy as heck. That's pretty fun too. Eric TI, I think, says, yeah, super nice. Time to move over to OBS for my casting instead of slobs. You know what? So you can 
get this setup in slobs. Slobs is really great for individual streamer, but there are definitely some advantages here in OBS. It's like, it's a little less fancy, but you have a little bit more power at your fingertips. Well, anything else that we got to show here? I think that, I think honestly, this is my favorite part of the tool. Just how slick this looks. Um... Yeah, so an another uh, side note that uh, this tool actually, um, it allows us to do replay playlists, but I'll go in that into that maybe a little bit later. Let's go ahead and get right to the producing. Let's get back to the VOD. I think there's nothing else I need to show here. Yeah, that's everything. All right, cool. Let's get back to it. Any questions on that? Mushu question. Have you hit a bug where OBS won't let you capture Skype via window capture? You sometimes? What I always do is make sure that on my background, um, <laughs> sorry, I'll, I'll, I'll uh, okay, we're back here. Um, for the, I make sure that the Skype is the full frame of my desktop. So I have a 1440p monitor. And so I put it full screen. <clears throat> Couldn't do it as much when I was doing OW, but when I was doing StarCraft II production, it was fun getting into the ears of my casters on a rare occasion while the stream couldn't hear me. <laughs> That's actually crucial for what we end up doing. The producer calls of the replay like you'll see soon. So we have a few seconds to set it up. Oh, hi. That was Mukai. Hello, Frix. Yeah, why don't I, uh, why don't I go ahead and get the... I'll start a replay buffer. Um, This is kind of boring. Let me, let me go here. You'll, you guys will see what happens. So we do have the replay scene. <clears throat> so normally I'd have this on a hotkey, but we have the scene that's instant replay or we have a replay picture in picture. Right? Do I have Overwatch launched? I should launch it anyway. Found that most of the time when I have window capture issues, it's because I didn't run programs in admin mode. Oh, okay. That's cool. Really good to know. I'm going to get Overwatch going in the background. Boom! Look at that. See? It just drops right in to my... I'm going to turn off the tool now. So you can see with this, we put in a space for the capture, and my aspect ratio on this is apparently messed up. Um, but yeah, so we have our screen in here, which would be the live feed. And then as soon as I pick, make this active, so what I'm gonna do is save a replay. And then we're gonna have replayception. So in here, what's happening is I have the replay. You know what, let me do this instead. This is probably better. I'm gonna let this go a little bit. Blah, 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 blah. Team two, looking for org, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna save my replay. I have a hotkey for that. This is built in OBS. If you have advanced, you um, enable replay buffer or something. Where is it? Yep, so in my output, since I'm already doing like the replay buffer, I can't edit it, but you click this right here. So we, ooh, why is it not capturing my... What? Why is it not capturing my desktop? This window that come up. Anyways, yeah, we have we have guides for how to set up the replay on another YouTube video. Um, if you go to that broadcast package, it'll be linked. So, okay, cool. Now I'm going to go to the scene where I'm now going to save the replay. And I'm going to show replay picture in picture. So now hopefully you should see, yeah. So this is the replay right now. This is a local video file that was created that I just saved. Or I can just show the replay on its own. Is there any image in of... The background video i'm doing some graph stats about contenders and that background is really nice i think we put it into the broadcast package which was just linked by uni all right cool we can go back to that if we need to but let's get on with the vod review so i'm just going to talk through now this is where dan 